Hi guys! Today I'm doing a really cool new project and I've got these wooden cubes which I bought from eBay and what we are going to do is we're going to paint them and make them into the number blocks figures. Now look at these blocks, they've already been sanded and they're all identical size so that's really great because we're going to stick them together at the end so they should fit together really nicely. I'm just counting out my blocks but before I start can you guess who this special number block is that we made keep watching till the end to find out who it is so this is all natural wood which is why you can see those lovely lines on it that's just pattern that's on there so we're going to use something called a primer and this should cover up the lines nicely so that we can add our coat of acrylic paint you don't have to use a special primer though you can just use regular acrylic paint or some kind of gesso like a base paint it's totally up to you or you can just do a layer of white paint to cover it and then do the acrylic paint. So I decided to use this spray primer because I thought it would be a lot quicker to do. But a few tips. Firstly, spray primer doesn't go very far so I ran out really, really quickly. Secondly, it's really stinky so don't do this inside. Make sure you take this eight outside if you're going to spray it. And also, it's better to line up all your bricks nice and neatly, but not too close together because they may stick together. There I am, neatening them up and then spraying them. And then I'm going to turn around each side and make sure all the different sides are covered. And fast forward a day where I've primed everything and it's nice and dry. And then what we did is sketched on the face of the number blocks. Just so that we make sure it looks nice i've got a mixture of paintbrushes here which i really like i've also got a sponge i'm not sure if i'll use it or not but we'll see i've got some water and i've also got this palette which i'm going to squeeze my paints into so i'm just mixing up some colors now so number block one of course is that lovely bold red so we're just going to squeeze some in here I'm also going to squeeze out some of my white acrylic paint and this is acrylic paint so it's nice and cheap. Then using my paint I'm just going to start painting the sides. I remember it's a cube so we're going to do this on most of the sides and we have to leave one unpainted so that it can dry. Get it nice and smooth. We'll probably end up doing maybe two coats. So I'm going to leave that on the paper to dry and I'm going to start number three. Why did I jump to number three? There must be a reason why. Well, I did anyway. No, number two. Sorry, this is number two. Hang on a minute. Then next up, I'm doing number block two. I'm painting that all over with some orange. I got a little bit confused here because you can see that I did the three buttons on one of the blocks. But that's all, that's actually for number three. But it's not a problem because this is the moment when I realised that I got the wrong one. Whoopsie daisy. But not to worry, we'll go on to number three anyway. We can always correct these mistakes later. Number three is of course yellow. So I've just got a nice yellow um, and it's also a deeper shade which I'm going to mix together to get the right one. The problem with the yellow paints I find is that they're more sheer which means they're more see-through than the other colour so this one might need three coats I think so it looks even. Then let's move on to number four and I just got a really nice, I love the shade of green paint, it's quite bright. It's the same one that I used for the number four big squishy and I'm going to do the back sides of number four. And then we've got number five, which I'm looking for the right shade, the blue, and I have some of this blue acrylic paint. Now, the good thing about keeping this in one palette is that if I have to do further layers or do topping up, it's all in the palette where it stays nice and wet so I don't have to mix up the colours again so I can get the shades right. Thank you. 
And then let's move on to the faces once the bodies are dry. So now I'm using a thinner brush and I'm trying to finish off number block one and avoiding the areas that I need to paint other colours or that are white. Then mixing up a slightly darker shade of red, I'm going around the eye. And we're slightly off centre, there you go. And also around the lips. Same with our number two. So the face looks a bit messy, but it's okay because we're going to tidy it up. So I'm just going to do those bits there. With the nice orange. Then number four, again a little bit blotchy, but it's okay because we're going to go over there with the green. Then next up, we need a darker shade of green for the eyebrows and the eyes. But for, we're going to do the colour and then we're going to do the detailing afterwards and then we're going to go over it again on top. now I'm just going around and also tidying up any messy bits on number five And there's our number three. Have I got it about you? Just going around here. My hands are really messy at this point. I'm absolutely covered in paint. Okay, now once that's dry, what I'm doing is adding the detail with some Posca paint pens, which I bought. I think these were the 3M ones, which means that they are kind of an average size, not too thick and not too thin. So using the black Posca pen, we're going to line all the details because that will make it really stand out. There we go, we're going to add the highlight of number one's eye. These Posca pens are really, really lovely for this. And then we're going to add number two's purple glasses with a Posca paint pen again in the shade purple. And any bits we've missed out, we can go back afterwards and top up the colour. Let's do the glasses on the side too. The paint pens are very opaque, which means that they just sit on top of the colour. They're very, very thick. It's, they look really good. And here's white for some cleaning up. And let's add some lips, which will be pink. And using the black pen, we're going to outline everything again. And we're just filling in any white bits there with the Posca paint pen rather than going over it again with the acrylic paint. It's just a bit quicker and a bit neater. 
and then on to number three and using an orange again we're going to add some of the details and red for number three's mouth And lining again to make those features stand out nicely. Get a dark green to do number four's lips. I don't know what we're doing then. <laughs> Just took a brief break <laughs> to do a bit of number four. And then the details of number four's face. And I'm going to do some topping up. I'm going to make the faces look neater so that they look really good. Let's sort out number three's buttons and add some teeth details too to all our number blocks. And here is number five with his slightly special features using the darker blue. And just lining the star around number five's eye. There's a bit of a white patch there, but we can go over that with the Posca pen or the acrylic paint. Okay guys, here are our finished number blocks, wooden pieces that are painted. And here is number one. Looking very handsome. And number two. Number three with his crown. Number four. With a smiley face and number five.
And did you guess who our special number block is? I'll give you a clue. Are you ready? <gasps> Zero. So we've got zero, one, two, three, four, and five.